Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to make a communication strategy. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a tool of promotion and selling. It got the following characteristics. It allows promoting any product or service through channels. They could be digital, analog, mix, or mix between ATL and BTL. ATL is everything that is traditional and BTL is everything that generates uh, experience. Its objective is to generate dissemination of the developments that are made in a business model or project and let people know that they are what they are. To correctly develop a communication strategy, it is essential to know very well who the target group is. Make a profile user, make a focus group, and be very specific and detailed in the approach. This tool is used in the stage of implementation and promotion in a project that is being developed with the design thinking methodology or any other agile methodology. Okay, so when we are starting to develop a communication strategy, the first thing that we need to ask is what I want to promote, what I want to sell, or what I want that the people know about. It could be a product, it could be a service, it could be a campaign. Not every time I'm selling something. Sometimes I just need people to participate in a specific activity or in a specific campaign. So that's the first thing. I need to know what I want to promote, sell or participate. After that, I need to know who's the user or who's the customer. So what I need to do is recollect data about this topic. The first thing that I need to do is to make a focal group. If you don't know how to make a focal group, group, please check here our channel because here we have the tutorial of how to make a proper focal group. After you have the main information, then you can be specific and develop a user profile. Also, if you don't know how to make a user profile, please here check our video because here we have a tutorial of how to make a user profile. So that is very important. After you know what you want to promote or what you want to sell and who's your user, you need to start defining a couple of things that are very important. The first thing is the communicational tone. It means how you want to address your target group. That is very important with which words, with with content, everything like that. Then you need to figure it out the communication channel. It means it's going to be digital, it's going to be analog, it's going to be by voice. How is it going to be? Then you need to figure it out if you want to have a copy or you want to have like a specific quote that people remember because that's the thing that people stay and remember so that is very important we are going to see in depth uh, every one of these uh, components also you need to make the planning and the schedule or how are you going to move your strategy and of course very important the graphic line the graphic line will be with the branding of your product your service of your campaign if you don't know what a graphic line is please also here check the content of what is a graphing like and how to develop one because that is very important because that will give the identity of your promotion okay so when we are talking about communicational tone that tone could be formal that could be informal or could be specific with the target group that you are working on because People sometimes have slangs or have regional terms or cultural terms that only in that place people understand what you're talking about. So that is very important that you know how to address your audience. Communicational channel. That is very important as well because here you can use social media, you can use printed uh, developments, or you can use... TV, radio, or the LTL things, or maybe you can make a fusion. It's really up of who's your user or who's your customer. Remember that all that information 
you know because you recollect it in the focal group and then you make a user profile. So after that, you know what you're talking about. The copy and all of that, it's very important because here you need to know the expectation of people and you need to know what, what they wish to have. How you are going to make it happen, how is it going to be the execution and then you need to evaluate if the strategy is really working or you need to rethink it. Planning. The planning is very important. It means that it's not just that you just drop it to the public. You need to make the follow up. You need to know how much it's going to cost. That is very important because is it going to be organic? Is it going to be paid? How much money I got for this? for the designer, for all the components, how many hours I'm going to put in this. That is extremely important that you need to have that. The costs are extremely important for any development that you want to make. That is very, very important. After that, you just need to implement. But always remember, you have to make the follow up of all the components and then reevaluate if you see that your strategy is working or you need to be focused on something else to make it better. As a conclusion, we can say that at the end of rising and executing the communication strategy, the product, service, business model or campaign that you are doing um, should be known by their potential customer or users and will know how to acquire it or participate in it. That is the most important thing when you are dropping something to the public. People need to know how to acquire or how to participate in it. The structure allows promoting models of business, products, service, or campaign. Shows that benefits and how to acquire it from its user and potential customers. That is very important as well because you don't always have to sell something. Maybe you just need people to participate in something specific. So it's up to you how you address your public, what resources you use, what uh, social media you use, or maybe you don't need it. It's really up of the information. Remember, in design thinking or any agile methodology, everything is user-centered design. Everything. So when you are going to drop something, you need to know who's your audience, who's your target, and how can you reach to them and make them part of your initiative. Thank you so much. I hope this video will be a big help in your development. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you to all of you. We are the number one design thinking and agile thinking channel in the whole YouTube universe. Remember, Every Monday we have a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.